What is classroom management? Classroom management is a term used by teachers to describe the process of ensuring that classroom lessons run smoothly despite disruptive behavior by students. Number one of the top 10 classroom management tips is start the year tough. Many teachers make the mistake of starting the year with a poor discipline plan or without any classroom management plan at all. It is much easier to start tough and then lighten up than to start light and discipline more. At the beginning of the year, students quickly assess the situation and realize what they will be allowed to get away with. Starting the year tough will give you control and flexibility. Number two, be fair to all students. Students are the first to recognize a teacher's favorites or biases. This is dangerous because it could lead to a disruption if they sense a teacher has favorites. Treat all without partiality and make sure that all are included and engaged in class material. Number three, be prepared for disruptions and don't let them phase you. Students often amplify their teacher's reaction to disruptions. Be ready for them and be ready to calmly and quickly pick up where you left off. Having a joke or interesting comment ready to bring attention back to you will allow the transition to be seamless. Number four, instill high expectations. Expect that your students will behave, not that they will disrupt. Reinforce this with the way you speak to your students. When you begin the day, tell your students your expectations for the day and they will have the goals ingrained in their head and will be less likely to cause trouble. Number five, incentivize good behavior. Motivating students through rewards like no homework, watching a video, ice cream, or free activity time can help students by giving them a goal to look forward to. This can also help students hold each other accountable to class goals and stigmatize negative behavior. Number six, over plan. Make sure you have plenty of activities to cover classroom time. It is wise to have several go-to activities to do if and when your lessons finish early. It is sometimes a point of no return when students realize they are done with planned activities. Number seven, have a clearly expressed disciplinary plan with consequences. Make sure students know the disciplinary ladder well. Any hint of ambiguity can leave a loophole for excuses, and students are great at making excuses. Warn students when they are close to breaking a rule so there will be no ambiguity when that line is crossed. If you constantly raise your voice to get the attention of the class, consider investing in a classroom amplification system which can save your voice by projecting it. The iPod Portable PA system is a great system for classrooms because it features an iPod dock that simultaneously plays and charges your iPod and also has output for a projector. Number 8. Focus on relationships. A teacher that can connect positively with their students will make students behave and easier to manage because students will regard their teacher much like a friend. Using positive reinforcement to build a positive reputation for the child gives them confidence that their teacher believes in them and will make it harder for them to disappoint the teacher with bad behavior or work ethic. Be careful about confrontation. Confrontation does not need to humiliate nor does it need to be done in front of others. A bad confrontation situation could turn a teacher into an enemy in the eyes of the student. This will only amplify bad behavior. Number 10, be patient and keep practicing. Don't worry if things don't go well right away. Controlling your classroom is learnable, but will always be a challenge with some students. No matter where you teach, it is best to expect the unexpected and be ready for adversity. For more information on classroom discipline, classroom amplification systems, or Amplivox, please visit ampli.com or give us a call. Amplivox. Extend your voice.